Hello and welcome to the episode 7 recap of The Courtship. In this episode, Nicole tells her sister and her best friend that it wasn't easy to hear Captain Kim telling her that he couldn't handle her being with Mr. Chapman. That she thought that her time with Mr. Chapman would have been more private. But yeah, it's out now and she says that if she wants to be intimate with someone, she will be. I mean, she's doing this for herself after all. Mr. Chapman says that he wants the guys to call him out on spending the night with Nicole if they feel they have an issue with it because he prefers to have it out with people who have issues. I guess there isn't much the guys can really say though because Nicole was the one who initiated the sleepover and of course Mr. Chapman was going to say yes. They're still upset about it though especially Danny B, New York guy whose jealousy is easily noticeable but he hasn't acted out yet. The episode is still pretty young though. Today's tea says that there's going to be a masquerade ball. Eventually the ball rolls around, everyone is dressed to the nines, the guys look really sharp as usual and then Nicole, she always knows how to make an entrance and the guy's jaws are all rightly on the ground because she looks stunning. She dances with Mr. Holland first who by the way hasn't had a farewell dance yet at all since the beginning. He's serious about her and she likes him fine enough but eh, we all know that he's not the one. Nicole and Mr. Chapman dance and it's quite obvious that they have their own little thing going on. She's definitely singled them out and it doesn't seem like their night together was a once off thing. She's really into him and he tells her that he's crazy about her. Nicole tells Danny B that she would like him to patch things up with her brother. Remember her brother didn't like that Danny B interrupted a dinner that he wasn't invited to and he basically basically thought that Danny B was saying just enough to stay in the game but he wasn't really sure about Danny. Danny B is a little non-committal about it but her brother is still there as her kind of chaperone so I guess they will mingle at some point. Then a surprise walks in. Another suitor, a French speaking suitor, a mysterious stranger. He has a British accent and he mentions having gone to a French school in London. The guys are obviously jealous because it wasn't too long ago that they had some new guys shake things up in the game. Mr. Hunter is especially worried but he's He's such a dignified gentleman type about these things. So the new suitor's name is Miles and he and Nicole kiss on the dance floor pretty much right away. It's a lot but Nicole is fine. She does say something along the lines of okay that's enough for tonight though but you can tell that she's already kind of under his spell a little. I felt kind of bad for Mr. Hunter. He's like this Prince Charming type waiting in the wings with all these seductive men just sweeping Nicole off her feet. I mean all's fair in love and war but still I kind of want him to have his moment but he might need to step up. Danny B goes and patches things over with Nicole's brother. Nicole takes Miles over to meet her brother and Danny B. It was awkward as heck and the rumor around the party is that Miles has a reputation for stealing people's girlfriends. Turns out Mr. Mumbry and the new guy Miles have bumped into each other a couple of times in London because they might kind of run in the same or adjacent circles. The next day Mumbry decides to put in a little more effort than usual to get Nicole's attention. He's also kind of feeling the pinch of the competition because Miles is a fellow Brit so he bakes Nicole a cake. This is the most personality I've seen from him and this is such a sweet gesture. Mr. Hunter says that the new guy Miles kind of rubs in the wrong way, that he's a bit cocky and I don't disagree. Mr. Mumbry, whose name is Charlie by the way, delivers the divine looking lemon drizzle cake to Nicole as she's sitting with her entourage and they have a really cute chat and he tells her that he would cook for her every night and he also tells her that her smile every time he sees her makes him nervous and excited. Even Dom is kind of impressed by him. There's obviously no fire there and Nicole once said that she just wants to pinch him on the cheeks. I don't know if this will do much to change her perception of him but it's really sweet nonetheless. And then as they're all talking and laughing there's a knock at the door. It's Miles and he brings actual gifts for everybody. A sword for Nicole's brother, a case of wine for either Nicole's sister or best friend, this three-tier wedding looking cake and some flowers for Nicole. He then asks her on a date and they just leave right there. Now I didn't really like this, I get this is how the game is played but it felt a little too showy and try hard on Miles's part and I was a little bit bummed that Nicole just got up and pieced out of there, leaving poor Charlie twisting in the wind. I mean I'm exaggerating obviously. I mean I guess this does tell us though how she feels about Charlie and I mean had she liked him or had she been interested in getting to know him better she would have opted to stay with Charlie but she didn't. Which I mean eh, it wouldn't have been my choice because it seemed a little bit impolite but fair enough. If she doesn't want to waste time on a suitor who she knows isn't going to be the one. Still I personally didn't care for it. Miles and Nicole go into the gardens and he makes gin for them and he adds fresh lavender that they picked in the gardens. Nicole is into his worldliness. He's sophisticated 
isolated. I think it's said that his job was being a socialite, so I'm guessing he's one of the high society types. He's attractive, sure, but right now, I'm not sure there's any there there. Danny B asks to see Nicole by the fountain, and she's thrilled. I remain perplexed by her attraction to him. His personality is great when things are going his way. Well, let me not exaggerate. His personality is bland to fine. But the minute he senses real threats, he acts out, and I don't know, he's maybe kind of given me the creeps a couple of times when he's being all over the top in his affections for her and wanting her attention. This date ends up surprising me though because it's actually really nice and interesting. They're not just whispering cringy sweet nothings to each other, he wants to know more about her. Things like if she's a morning person, what her living situation is and he wants to have and share this picture of what their life could possibly look like outside of this game bubble. They also talk about wanting kids. I found myself preferring that this was Mr. Hunter or Mr. Judge instead but oh well. Danny says that he'll make the effort to pull her aside and talk to her every moment he can and Nicole is really into this. Anyway, it's time for the farewell dance and Miles is on the cards. He's caught off guard by this because I don't know, but he seems to be the type who is a little bit pleased with himself. Mr. Judge and Mr. Holland are also on the list. I was certain that Mr. Holland was going home, but Nicole says that she wants to see if she can get to the love place with him. We all know that that's not going to happen, but sure. I was low-key panicking at this point, pledging to riot if she sent home Mr. Judge before Holland or even Charlie Mumbry. Plot twist, she tells him that she wants him to stay. Then she dances with Miles. She tells him that she appreciates how bold he's been with his grand entrances and gestures. He tells her that he wants to show her what love is. He speaks to her in French and it is rather romantic and sweet. He's still on probation in my book though. The French is a nice and romantic distraction but I'm not convinced. Nicole might be though because she says that she has room for one more romantic connection. So Nicole ends up sending nobody home this week. She tells the guys that with someone new coming she didn't have much time together with the original so they all live to see another week and eight suitors remain anyway this was a quite a short one but uh, feel free to share your thoughts as usual and thank you for watching